So the mod that we're going to do today is to improve the airflow coming out of our air conditioner ducts. And we are going to be adding some baffles, I guess is what you call it, to um, push the air through in the right direction and hopefully get better airflow throughout the entire coach. Cause we're classy. There are um, a couple different ways to do this. Brian Miller had posted something on the Jayco Seneca group where he used his 3D printer to print the parts. So I decided to do that, but I also created one just out of foam. You can basically use whatever you can find. As long as you have the general design down, it doesn't matter what the substrate is. The specification measurements that Casey used were from Brian Miller, who had a Coleman Mach 15 AC heat pump in his Jayco Seneca. Our Jayco Greyhawk is equipped with two Mach 1 Power Saver AC units. And it turns out that Brian's specifications measurements worked just as well for, for us as it did for him but you'll wanna make sure and take measurements for your own AC unit to make sure that they work for you as well. So this will make much more sense when we go up and start taking the air conditioner apart. But basically, we are going to create a wind tunnel between these parts. As you can see, the parts I 3D printed and then one that I created out of foam. So that's the basic flow. Right now, it's just a big open square, and we'll show you that. But this is kind of how it's going to direct the airflow into the racetracks to come out the vents. This is an anemometer and you can get one on Amazon and it measures temperature and wind speed and I think some other things. Um, but that's what we're using it for today is to see what kind of output we're getting through each of the ducts. We measured the airflow at each of the vent outlets in the RV and as you can see it ranged from about 0.75 meters per second to 3.0 meters per second prior to doing the modification. So we're going to do a decibel reading before and after as well. Um, I'm just using an app that was free. Uh, as you can see on my phone, it's called Sound Meter. You can see it moving as I talk. It says. So let's see. It says, are you satisfied? Yes. Seven. 
75 decimals. First thing we gotta get access to all the screws that we need. So you can buy an airflow kit and I think it's well over a hundred dollars but we're gonna get the same results DIY so there are four screws here we need to take out and this piece will come down screws so put them in the cup. Next there are four other screws to take this piece off. We're not going to use this piece anymore when we're done we're not going to have the option of the dump or the racetrack we're going to go straight racetrack from now on to gain more efficiency okay. so you have two parts of your air conditioner you have this side over here with the larger hole and that takes the air in and then it runs it through whatever magic it does and it spits it out this side um it's approximately 20 degrees cooler and dehumidified and right here on both sides you have your your vents or your racetracks and what it does when you don't use the racetracks and use the dump method it tries to shoot it down here but it's not it's not efficient either way because you've got all this open space so we want to put these baffles like so up in here to guide the air as it comes down into the racetracks. But first we got to do some cleanup. The cutouts here kind of look like they just punched a hole through the styrofoam so we're going to clean that up we're going to cut these out nicer and get it all taped up and i'm going to pull this out oh cutting just cleaning it up yeah i'm cutting to, I'm cutting the styrofoam out to match the actual size of the racetrack. And I'm using a steak knife. Because why not? Because it's longer. Aren't those our good knives? Well, I needed a knife. And good is a relative term. Look at all this. Yes. I mean, it was just kind of hanging there. Yeah. High caliber quality, so we're going to redo all of the HVAC tape and make it nice and tight. Make it real pretty. And tape is cheap, so as much as you want. It's 
so we can show a picture why don't you come up here and stand i'll move this and you can show a picture of what it looks like right now mm -hmm. and then we'll show after i retape it just use an hvac tape to seal up everything make it pretty and i like to use a lot of tape because why not no one ever said i was a clean job it's a little messy but I got everything taped off initially. Isn't it pretty? So now we're gonna install these baffles. And I'm going to get those in there like that and tape them to guide the air into the racetrack. So it's starting to come together. So I'll get those taped in there. After that, we'll put the center in, but let's get these taped in there first. Okay, this is the tape job. It's the baffle tape job. So we have the baffles taped up and now we need to add what I'm calling the diverter which needs to sit in between them so that it guides the airflow down to the racetracks. Um, you need, you can use like something like foam board, I don't have any so I'm just using uh, some cardboard and I made a little template that will sit up in here I've got the, the little cutouts for the screws it's gonna sit up in here on the bottom like so and then the diverter will sit on top of this so that's the next step I'm taping it uh, the diverter onto the cardboard and I put a mark on it for what was the middle on both I'm going to probably use a whole roll of tape on two air conditioners because I like tape. Can you teach the people how to make that mess down there? Oh, the people. The people need to know that that is an acquired skill set. I am very good at making messes. Not very good at cleaning them up. True story. So here's the diverter all taped up on its piece of cardboard. I gotta get that in there. taping the diverter down in there so that it's because I like to use tape and 
and everything is sealed from the inside and the outside. This was already in there for the um, split between the intake and the output and I just taped it on both sides and we're going to reuse this to block the output side off. So I'm getting that tight up against the baffles and then we'll tape all this together and then I'll be airtight. So here we are, we're done on the inside. We just need to put the cake covering back on. I think it looks pretty darn good. Uh, it leaves a little bit more room for the intake as well. So hopefully we'll get better output and it'll be a little quieter. We do not need this piece anymore. This was the middle piece and since we're not doing the dump anymore, we don't need it. This was kind of channeling that air. And as you can see, we've closed everything off. So there's no way to dump it straight down. It's all going in the racetrack. So the next thing is just to reinstall the cover. Hopefully you didn't lose any screws. I have extra screws now because we're not using that other piece. these right now. <laughs> Make sure when you're all done that you uh, shut these. These were for the dump and you don't want air coming into the intake through these because it won't go through the filters. So we started at 75 decibels. Let's see what it is now. Yeah. Looks like right around 69 and I think if you use foam board instead of cardboard for the bottom that you might get it a little quieter. Um, I can tell it's quieter now. You know five decibels is five six decibels is pretty good. So now let's check the outfit. Keep your fingers crossed. 4.15 The results are in. This air conditioner mod created over two times more airflow in our RV. Each duct was a little bit different than the others, so take a look at the data. <laughs> Woohoo! So I consider this a success. Now, about the design, 
I'll put a link below to the Thingiverse template that Brian Miller created. Again, thank you, Brian. But you don't have to get crazy. You don't have to 3D print anything. You don't even have to make the little curves. You know, your goal here is to just fill up those spaces that have no purpose up there and to push the air through the racetracks. And if you don't like that you lose your dump, then you don't really have to put in the centerpiece. You're not going to get as efficient, but if you really, really think that you still need that dump, just fill up those spaces where you put the baffle so that you're guiding that air a little bit more forcefully down and out. And clean up your ducts too. Go up there and look around. Yeah, I mean that you could save efficiency right there by going up there and looking at the tape job and looking to see, you know, how well they cut out that space in that styrofoam to the racetracks. There's so many places that we made efficiency strides here. So however you decide to do it, it's just a, a good idea to go up there and take a look around and see how you can improve your efficiency. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button and even more importantly, hit the subscribe button because that really does help us out. Before we go, I do have to give the legal disclaimers, which are we are not professional RV repair people. We are not professional AC modification repair people. We just wanted to share with you what happened to work for us. So do your own research, consult with the professionals, and remember, whether you're on the road or on the web, stay cool and classy. Worked. We are getting over two times more air out of our vents, out of our ducks. Ducks. <laughs> the biggest lesson is to clean up your mess or have somebody else do it. This is what I'm good for, is mess cleaning up. Yep. Go with some tape. Get me, get that hit in my face.